Here we have a short clip of 100 millionaire. That's how much money Nancy Pelosi has been able to accumulate in her lifetime. Huge part of that is obviously being in that position of power. And 100 millionaire Pelosi, this is her remarks on the $600 payments slap in the face to working people all across the U.S. And let's see how 100 millionaire Nancy Pelosi views these $600 stimulus checks that are, again, not even going to everybody. And, and <laughs> we also have in the legislation uh, direct payments, which were not in the Republican bill, to America's working families. I would like them to be bigger, but they are uh, significant. And, they and what... This is literally how disconnected from reality Nancy Pelosi is. She thinks a $600 check when people haven't got any type of stimulus from the government since, what, March? $600 check is significant. It's literally how out of touch with the reality of a vast majority of people in the United States are living in right now where she thinks... $600 check is significant. It's a fucking slap in the face. It shows that the government, both parties, do not give a shit about how much the working class is truly suffering right now economically. I mean, it's just fucking disgusting. She should be, if she was some true progressive champion, she's obviously hasn't been that, frankly, for a long time. If, if ever, she would be... Like, she wouldn't have fucking supported the defense budget. Like, she'd be out there advocating, fighting like hell to make sure everybody in the U.S. is getting, you know, two grand a month since the start of the pandemic. Medicare for all, canceling student loan debt, canceling rent, canceling mortgages. And obviously, she's done the complete opposite because she is no friend of the working class. She's... A capitalist herself she's a, a tool for the capitalist class and does their bidding and that's how she has the fucking goal to get out there <clears throat> make this proclamation that six hundred dollar check is significant get the fuck out of here out soon. we also have in the legislation uh, direct payments which were not in the republican bill that's literally not that's, that doesn't even cover a month's fucking rent and probably the cheapest part of the United States. I mean, this is fucking disgusting. <clears throat> and then earlier in the pandemic, you had her going on uh, the Late Late Show, James Cor Corden, showing off her two freezers, fridges, that total cost like 25 fucking thousand dollars in these bougie-ass $12 pints of delivery fucking ice cream. <clears throat> this is how like she thought this would be good optics to go on this late late show show her two giant ass expensive ass ten thousand dollar plus freezers full of this delivery bougie ass ice cream she didn't think there was anything wrong with that while tens of millions of people had lost their jobs i mean for fuck's sake this is the best we can do like really really it's di just disgusting. Really? Chocolate, chocolate candy. Oh, wow. And this is. And if James Corden had any fucking scruples, he'd be like, what like, what the fuck are you doing here? And, you know, in a comedic way, but obviously he didn't. And that's the reason he's in that position and able to give interviews to pieces of shit like Nancy Pelosi. Yeah, that's that's really on the top of people's list. Being able to order mail, order ice cream through the fucking mail when they just lost their jobs. They don't have health insurance. They're on the brink of getting kicked out of their homes. How are they putting food on the table? Yeah, and they're really worried about getting your fucking bougie ass delivery ice. I mean, it's like what the fuck. This is the of <clears throat> we have two right wing parties in the United States, as as Chomsky points out, and any other country the democratic party would be correctly and accurately described as a right-wing party i mean for fuck's sake this is who we have leading it oh my wow 
<clears throat> Each of those pints are twelve fucking dollars a piece. That's literally she has like how much bougie ass delivery ice cream she has in both of her freezers is basically the equivalent of that twelve hundred dollar fucking stimulus check. If not, you know, her ice cream probably being worth more, honestly. <clears throat> as possible uh, it is uh, it, 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 i enjoy it i like it better than anything she has a hundred million dollars to her fucking name if not slightly more than that and she can't even think to fight for twelve hundred dollar stimulus check which is not nearly enough but she thinks six hundred dollars is significant i mean was it just a lot of bougie ass professional pmc people and some capitalists in her district like why would you vote for her over shaheed bhutan i mean what the fuck and i don't know why but it seems to agree with me i have a lot of energy and we just got to restock the ice cream uh, right for easter sunday because we were going to say enjoying yep just just got it restocked i'm not out here you know fighting to give you Universal health care or two hundred thousand or two thousand dollar <throat> emergency UBI or not canceling your student or student loan debt, fighting for canceling medical debt. Nope, but I've been worried about getting this freezer stocked for, for Easter Sunday. That's that's top of my capitalist brain right now. Oh, God damn, dude. Well, there you go. Which one is this? Yeah, <clears throat> so here it is. It was full stocked of $12 a pint ice cream, man. I thought I ate bougie vegan ice cream. Well, that shit's only $5 a fucking pint. <laughs> and I can get it at the store, though. I don't have to fucking order it. I mean, for fuck's sake. Nancy Pelosi revealed her $24,000 fridge stuffed with luxury ice cream that sells for $12 a pint, which featured in an interview with TV Jam host James Corden. I mean, 72 84 96 It's over $100 of ice cream right fucking there. And this, I mean, it's fucking disgust. This, this is the best. Again, we have no... Neither party in the United States cares about the interest of the working class and any illusions that anybody had about that I think should have been laid bare during this fucking pandemic. Both parties are completely bought and paid for by the capitalist class, by the special interest. And as a result, that's who they look out for. That's who they do the bidding of. And that's been clearly evident with all of these so-called stimulus packages which have vastly redistributed wealth upwards while doing fuck all for for the rest of us and nancy pelosi like there's, there's a special place in hell for people like her and mitch mcconnell and you know senator ron ron johnson who didn't support the 1200 hundred dollar check because the the deficit we got to be worried about the deficit and and the budget and the debt right now while supporting the you know trillion dollars in tax cuts which obviously added to the deficit so fuck, i mean what is it going to take to i mean we we need to obviously work outside of electoral politics because these these people and their capitalist overlords the only thing that's going to get them to actually address the material conditions of the working class is through some type of massive general strike where we withhold our labor and we bring the capitalist system to its knees until they're able to meet our demands. And obviously that would require, you know, quite a bit, but super important because it's clear, I mean, even during a fucking pandemic, Nancy Pelosi can't even be, you know, forced to bring Medicare for all to the floor for a vote and she thinks $600 
check is significant. Get the fuck out of here. Peace. Much love. Subscribe for more content. Like the video. If you like the damn video, if not, hit that button. That's cool too. Peace. Much love. Stay strong. Stay safe.